and just like that season 3 update teases a massive season 2's ending Reetkin. Even though Carrie Bradshaw's, Sarah Jessica Parker, next outing won't be released until 2025 filming is underway for and just like that season 3. A sequel meets revival to HBO's hugely popular Sex and the City and just like that follows Carrie and her pals Miranda Hobbs, Cynthia Nixon, and Charlotte York Goldenblatt, Kristen Davis, through the ups and downs of life in New York City. Like Sex and the City the series takes great pains to film on location as much as possible which means spotting one of and just like that's characters on Manhattan streets isn't a rarity. With prying eyes all around and just like that's New York filming locations the series has gone to extreme lengths to keep plot points under wraps. For season 1 Chris Noth appeared to film post-mortem Mr. Big scenes. That said if there's a massive secret that needed to go unspoiled for and just like that season 3 the team behind Max's hit series would know what measures to take. Even so the recent sighting of one and just like that star has viewers wondering if the show's third season will reek in a major part of the season 2 finale. In the wake of Big's death Carrie spends half of and just like that, season 2 having casual flings that in the style of the original series don't become long term relationships. At the end of episode 6 Bomb Cyclone Carrie decides to email her former fiancé, Aiden Shaw, John Corbett. In Sex and the City Carrie and Aiden's relationship is messy. Although Carrie quits smoking for Aiden she can't seem to quit Mr. Big. After a painful breakup Carrie and Aiden reunite move into Carrie's apartment and get engaged. Of course the engagement dissolves. Aiden realizes he still can't bring himself to enter Carrie's apartment the scene of past heartbreak. By the sequel second season a divorced Aiden is living in Virginia co-parenting three kids with his ex-wife. Although Carrie and Aiden's in-person reunion goes well Aiden realizes he still can't bring himself to enter Carrie's apartment the scene of past heartbreak. After a season of dating and splurging on hotels Aiden finally visits Carrie's apartment in and just like that season 2's ending just before she sells her iconic flat. Despite loving Carrie Aiden realizes his teenager needs him to be around so the couple agree to put a 5 year pause on their relationship. Despite being greenlit for a third outing and just like that season 3's problems prove the sex and the city revival should have ended with season 2. Instead of putting her life on hold for Aiden Carey takes a much needed vacation with one of her new friends Seema Patel, Sarita Chaudhary. Max hadn't renewed the SATC revival ahead of season 2's finale and it shows. If it became the show's ending viewers could imagine a future for Carey and Aiden or just appreciate Carey's investment in her friends. Interestingly John Corbett was spotted on set alongside Sarah Jessica Parker who was filming scenes for and just like that season 3 via Vulture. Corbett's involvement implies Carrie and Aiden's five-year pause didn't stick. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. Sex in the City follows Carrie Bradshaw a New York writer who finds inspiration for her column from the genuine emotional and often humorous exploits of life in the city. Joined by best friends Miranda Hobbs, Charlotte York and Samantha Jones Sex and the City follows the ups and downs of the characters' romantic relationships being single sex and friendship as 30-something women. Just shy of 20 years after the divisive finale of Sex and the City Carrie's perfect ending was set into motion by and just like that season 2. Notably Sex and the City season 6 sees Carrie moving to Paris with her current beau artist Alexander Petrovsky, Mikhail Baryshnikov. Neither the City of Lights nor the relationship are what they promise. However in rom-com fashion Big shows up in Paris to tell Carrie she's the one as they stroll along the Seine. Put simply framing the often toxic and manipulative Big in a fairy tale ending frame is frustrating. And just like that. Season 2. Digs back into Carrie and Aiden's Will They Want Tea They Drama. Even worse all of Carrie's choices in the two-part Sex and the City finale revolve around men which is a letdown for a show that pushed boundaries and billed itself as empowering and feminist. It was hard for Sex and the City to find a satisfying ending for its perpetually single gal. And. Just like that season 2 perpetuates the issue digging back into Carrie and Aiden's Will They Want Tea They Drama. 
while the couple's five-year pause is a little hard to digest Carrie at least chooses, and prioritizes, herself in the sequel series sophomore outing. And just like that, can't help but wonder, will pairing Carrie and Aiden in the Sex and the City sequel series make up for the show's past mistakes? Although it's highly unlikely and just like that season 3 could employ a time jump in order to speed up Carrie and Aiden's reunion. Aiden suggested a five-year pause so that his youngest son would be out of high school and presumably on his own allowing Aiden to settle in a new home without uprooting his son's lives. While both Carrie and Aiden are more mature it's still a challenging proposition. On the other hand Reetkening season 2's ending would feel cheap. And in the world of and just like that stranger things have happened in a time jump. And just like that. Seasons 1 and 2 are streaming on Max. In this revival and sequel to HBO's iconic Sex and the City the show continues to follow the lives and friendships of Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte and Miranda as they transition into life in their 50s. Source, Vulture. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. Half a decade after The Big Bang Theory wrapped up its run the young Sheldon finale fixes Penny and Leonard's frustrating pregnancy storyline. The reason why Ridley Scott's Gladiator 2 didn't film in Rome has been revealed with an upcoming TV show being the key reason as to why. Interviews Griffin in summer director Nicholas Colia and stars Everett Blunk and Owen Teague about their work on the comedy. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. The bittersweet epilogue to the Krakoan era in X-Men 35 also sets the stage for the future as Storm ascends to the upper tier of Marvel power. Many developments happened in Grey's Anatomy season 20's finale that cannot be taken back prompting the unveiling of the perfect season 21 villain. Batman has officially changed his crime-fighting philosophy and is putting the well-being of the Bat family over Gotham, or at least he says he is. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. The Fallout TV show has barely scratched the surface of the massive arsenal from the games with some great weapons on the table for Season 2. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts.